guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry Ann Shimatero and this is Rowena Francis. So you've decided to fast. Do you ever feel like fasting is a little far-fetched for the average person? Fasting is hard. There's no easy way to go about it. But I guess that's the point. Fasting is meant to do something inside of us so that we seek God and fill that hunger with Him. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to fast and not feel like you are dying so that you can seek God and hear his voice clearly. I always wanted to fast. When it came down to it, I always felt, just like I said earlier, I thought I was dying. I couldn't even function. Like my mind wouldn't, I couldn't think, I couldn't process anything and I just didn't wanna do anything. Not even read my Bible or pray, which is the whole point. I always wanted to fast. I couldn't even think about anything. I couldn't process words. It was just, words were difficult, you know? And what I ended up doing most of the time was just sleeping as much as possible. For real? Sleeping? Come on, that's not even the point of fasting. I might as well just break my fast, which most of the time I did end up breaking my fast. And then I would get so hard on myself because I failed. And I mean, who wants to feel like a failure? Am I right? All that changed the first time I fasted after I was sugar free. Okay, don't cut me off here. And all of a sudden it clicked. I realized that sugar, caffeine, those kinds of things, they just make fasting harder. So the first practical thing that I'm gonna share with you is to prepare. Now it sounds simple enough, but it was something that I never really thought of before. So one of the first things that I do when I'm preparing for a fast is I take a good two to four weeks before I fast and I'm gonna cut out sugar, caffeine, and anything else that I really feel I'm kind of more addicted to or inclined to or crave or whatever it is. If it's a food item and I just feel like I have to have it, I will start cutting that out about two to four weeks before I start my fast. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to just cut drinking coffee, caffeine, sugar, anything like that, cold turkey, but let me tell you, you end up with a headache. And that headache can last sometimes even longer than your fast. So what's the purpose? Let's take care of that before the fast so that when you're fasting, you don't have that withdrawal headache. You hear what I'm saying? Flashbacks to giving up caffeine. The second thing I wanna share with you is to have a plan. Things happen. If you don't have a plan, chances are you're gonna get hungry, you're not gonna know what to do, and you're just going to want to grab the first thing that you see. For instance, if you're doing a Daniel fast and you're only eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, then you wanna make sure that you, first of all, have them on hand. Go to the grocery store, grab some fruits and vegetables, know which ones you wanna eat, when you wanna eat them, cut them up, prepare them so that when the time comes, they are ready for you to eat and you don't just wanna go grab something that's quick. That is quick and you can grab it. Same thing if you're doing the liquid fast, then make sure that you have tomato soup, water, fruit juices. Make sure that you have the things that you want to be able to utilize on your fast. And obviously, if you are doing a full water fast, then you wanna make sure that you have a water bottle. So this time around, I am going to attempt a 40 day fast. It's probably not as daunting as what it sounds because I'm not doing a full fast for the entire 40 days, but I am going to prepare for the fast and then I'm going to lead into a full fast. In the middle, I'm going to do a, a three day full fast where I'm just gonna do water only and then I'm gonna gradually work my way back out to eating regular food again. So have a plan, know how you're gonna gradually go into that fast, know how you're going to exit that fast, and then you will be able to get the most out of what you're doing. So how you enter your fast is key, and how you break your fast is key. You are gonna make yourself sick if you think that you are going to just cold turkey everything, and then not eat for 40 days, and then at the end of the 40 days, just eat a feast. It's not gonna be good for you. Number three, bring power to your prayer. If you go into fasting and you just, you're thinking about giving up the food, but you're not really thinking about what you want to seek God for, then you're not going to get the most out of your fast. Have a plan in place, put things together, then execute it. 
if you don't have a plan, then you're planning to fail. Isn't that the way the thing goes, the saying goes? Fail to plan, then you plan to fail. I think that's it. Either way, it's relevant here because if you don't have a plan, you don't know what you want to seek God for. You just don't really know what you're getting and you're not going to get the most out of your fasting experience. Doesn't mean God can't move, but know what you want. Go with an expectation. We need to know what we're fasting for. Have a plan, know what you want to do, know what you want to seek God for, and then seek his face with everything that you have. I hope this helped you guys with your thoughts on fasting. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to join me in this fast, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for a fasting guide, the guide that I'm actually using. And so I wanted to make that available to you guys as well. If you're interested, that will be in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. Happy fasting. I've the